In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create six option date palm tree infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have added this landscape. And when I click, you can see here the palm tree with six leaves. And when I click, the first option comes uh, with the icon and you can add the title and the detailed text. Then comes the second option, the third, fourth, fifth and sixth and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this if you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010 then some features may not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape depending on your requirement maybe this much size shape outline i'll make it no outline then i'm just going to align center align middle then i'm going to retain only the top part and the rest of the part i'm going to delete it so for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle again shape outline no outline shape will give some different color and right mouse click go to format shape and make it somewhat transparent so you know exactly how much area i'm going to keep it so you can see here i'm just going to rotate it something like this and maybe this much area only i'm going to keep it okay the one which is highlighted here and the rest i'm going to delete it so i'm going to select this particular oval shape hold the shift key select this one uh, under format go to merge shape you can just say intersect so you end up getting a shape something like this all right now let me just zoom in this one now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add few more shapes so you can see here from the basic shapes i'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline no outline and shape fill you can give any color and then i'm just going to put it something like this here all right make it somewhat down press ctrl d i'm going to make it like three or four somewhat i'll make it up all right if you want i can just make one more also here okay now again i'm going to subtract this one so first of all i'm going to select all okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge shape and I'm going to fragment it. The moment I fragment it, you can see here I can just select this part and I can delete it. Okay. Let me just select this and this and delete it. So you can see here I got this shape. Now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape again make it somewhat transparent shape outline make it no outline and i'm just going to rotate it and i'm going to keep it from this end till here you can see here till like this or if you want you can just reduce it also something like this all right now this area only I'm going to keep and the rest I'm going to delete again hold the shift key select this one and I'm going to you can see here I'm going to just make it intersect and give a different color I'm going to give a light green this one I'm going to give a dark green and then bring this one and put it on top so it looks like a shaded effect all right and Control A to select all, Control G to group it. Let me just zoom out. So we end up getting a shape, something like this. Then I'm going to add a trunk. So go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the trapezoid, draw the trapezoid. You can see here, shape outline, no outline, shape fill, go to more fill colors, go to the standard and I'm going to choose this one, which is a dark brown and click OK. And then I'm going to place this one here. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. And you can ho hold the Alt and the right arrow key. Okay. 
something like this you can make it let me just bring this one somewhat up this one here press ctrl d and again make it more down something like this all right maybe this one i'll make it one like this now i'm going to duplicate this one go to format rotate and i'm going to make it flip horizontal and i'm going to place it here select this one press ctrl d and i can just again make it flip horizontal put it here and this one press ctrl d again flip horizontal add it here something like this and let me just go to view and remove the guidelines so you can see here uh, i have uh, added this palm tree and then you can just give some different color okay for the timing i'm just giving this color and then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and i'm going to make it a white circle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white all right again align center align middle and then send this to back and then i'm just going to move it somewhat up all right if you want you can increase the size also now let's add the six options so i'm going to insert shapes and i'm going to select the oval shape again draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color maybe dark green press ctrl d to duplicate this one and for this i'm going to fill this with white and hold the shift key sorry let me just hold the shift key and reduce the size and then i'm just going to place it here exactly and then i can select both of this make sure that it is align center align middle and then group it ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to add the option here press ctrl d one option here and make sure that it is properly aligned let me just bring one here and ctrl d this option here all right so i have added the options now let's add some detailed text so this one will be the title and for this i'm going to make it bold and right aligned and then you can add some detailed text i'm going to say equals lorem within bracket one and then the unwanted text i'm just going to delete it the text is too long i'm going to short it and you can give any color of your choice reduce the font size and this also make it right align and then just paste it here so bring this together press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then i'm just going to add here you can see something like this and press ctrl d bring the other side go to format align make it left so let me just go to the home and left align and this both i'm going to make it again left align all right then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and this also here so you can see here with this we have completed the design and if you want uh, any landscape to be added you can go to insert shapes i can just select the right triangle draw the right triangle something like this shape outline no outline shape fill you can give maybe kind of an orange and right mouse click edit point you can let me just edit the point again and then i can just make it something like this all right and select this one press ctrl d to duplicate give the other color rotate and i'm going to place it here if you want you can just increase it like this then you can add a simple animation to it let me just close this go to the animations enable the animation pane and then i can just choose this one the trunk and add animation you can maybe more entrance effects and i'm going to set stretch and click ok 
and this should happen uh, from bottom so it comes like this all right and then this one all this the palm leaves i'm just selecting this one by holding the shift key and then i can add animation maybe i can use the same animation which is the stretch all right and then this should happen after previous and you can just maybe this one should come from right even this also should come from right and this three should come from left all right so if i play it comes something like this all right and then you can just add the animation maybe uh, add animation more entrance effects and basic zoom okay and then if you have some icons also you can add it and for this one again i'm going to use the same animation which is stretch click ok and it should happen from right and that should happen after previous okay now it's easy for me i can just select this one click it here select this and click it here like that you can just finish it off so let me just show you when i click it happens and then the first option comes then second option comes likewise you can just create the animation for the rest of the options